Welcome back to another video of Supermarket Simulator. Anyway, let's play. Let's open up shop. Man, oh man. These restockers is pretty awesome. So, for me to fix the glitch with um, this mod, or the few mods we had together, um, I had to put up a lot more items, and instead of buying one item at a time, we'll be buying two items at the same time. Uh, so sometimes there's a box outside, it's just best to get a new rack for it. Uh, and this way then, uh, we'll have our duplicates also on one side of the screen. Um, or one side of the shop. So we know where the duplicates is for if I ever do decide to stop using this mod. You know, I know where my stuff should be or should go. And therefore we have at least a little bit of uh, order between the chaos but yeah um i think this is the only way we're gonna resolve the issue um and if if it continues on we'll obviously build a whole rack line all the way down here where even more duplicates will be at so uh, i just want to talk about the issue here i'm using an auto purchase um when the when the wreckers is taking the last item and then it auto purchased the item, but the problem is because the item is very very low, um, our rack, uh, our restockers actually take both then instantly, and then the mod doesn't purchase the item again. But now if it's in two different locations, um, then it's going to be just better. So the, the initial problem is that my my stock is too big, so it takes up two box spaces, and that leads to um, this glitch happening. So one way to solve it is to make sure that your, your total rack is not using two box spaces, uh, two full spaces, obviously. And the other way to fix it is to rather just buy two items from the get-go, and sometimes, like this right here, a box spawns outside. And whenever that happens, we'll just put it in a new a new slot. Uh, because it will then count as... Um, it won't be the last item then, until it uses this one. And when it picks up this one, it will spawn on the other side, which is here somewhere. Um, but yeah. We'll see how this works. Uh, hopefully now we'll never be on zero stock of any item. We'll just have to keep an eye out for items spawning outside. Uh, whether that's going to keep working or not. If this doesn't work, uh, then my only solution would be to not sell uh, two bucks worth of items inside the store. But we'll see how it goes. This guy is about to hit, uh, hit level 23, so that's going to be awesome. And uh, I think we can buy another product uh, license, but they are extremely expensive. Go cashier, 720 XP out of 735. It's going to reach that very soon. Um, oh, uh, management licenses. So this license coming up, just a license alone costs twelve and a half thousand dollars. So pizza, ice cream, potato pops, a veggie mix, whatever that is, Mr. Bean. So yeah, it's very expensive. Requires level fifty six on item uh, on the on the on the store, and it's three of them in a row uh, before we get to the twelve uh, or the twenty two thousand products, which is requiring uh, requiring level seventy. So it's ten levels from here, um, but I don't think that will be an issue because I think once we have the three products up, uh, it will be very expensive. Um, once you have those three products up, we should be around level 70 anyway, but we'll see. 
So reach level 23. That's great. And now he's faster than the self-checkout would have been. So finally more productive than a self-checkout machine. Uh, watched a video recently of someone talking about this game. That it is just four times more fun. Yes, exactly four times more fun by using mods. And I honestly do agree. Uh, it, it really depends on which mods you go for. Like, I want to I wanna still be fair, right? And I want to have an automated system. So I feel like the best way to make cashiers do their job better is by having this mod where they gain experience, they gain levels, uh, they become better, more efficient over time, the longer they're employed. Same with the restockers, right? And not just that, you pay them a daily wage, uh, more wage, and you pay for the upgrades for them to continue on leveling and getting experience. Um, it, it's, it's honestly a really, really flawless mod, in my opinion. I think majority of these games, hopefully, um, will tackle on in-game in the future by themselves. Um... Because it's it's not RNG based, right? It's just the more you do with that specific employee, the more useful they become. Uh, for example, let's take a TCG card shop simulator as an example that doesn't have the system. You would fire your previous employee because the new employee that you don't have yet is just better, right? But what if there is a leveling up system where the previous guy, once you pay him a daily wage as much as, um, you know, the, the better employee, once you get to that level, you most, like, there most probably will be as efficient as each other. So by the time you unlock the new employee, you must probably will stick with the old one already because he's leveled up, right? I mean, if you compare the end games, obviously, you would rather want the faster one because he's, his level will be better uh, at max level. And that ends up, you know, being a better employee overall, eventually, but it will also be more expensive at that point. So it really comes down to whether you want a quality worker, or do you want uh, do you want to be on a budget still? It all depends on you, right? So I'm honestly hoping that more and more simulation games would take in the factor of this leveling system. I think it's really cool. I honestly think it's really cool. I think it's a bit extreme with the restockers carrying this many boxes, but maybe this the walking faster um, aspect, that alone, especially cashiers, I feel like that's fair play, right? If you do the same job over and over and over again for a year, literally this is it, a teller, it makes sense that you become extremely fast. Right. Instead of promoting someone from a teller to, I don't even know, uh, a stock taker, they just become more efficient at their job. And uh, they just become faster and faster until it gets to a point where, you know, it, it's just God tier level good. So that that is just my opinion, though. So these are everyone in the shop, I believe. So we can end the day here. 85 happy customers. That's what I'm talking about. So our shelves should still be looking good. Now I said $12,000 just to even buy the license. So we got some more stock outside. Which is very... Oh. 
So the big ones will take uh, two shelf spices now. That's kind of annoying. That, that's that's kind of annoying. But it does make sense. Okay, it's time for us to put up the new racks, I would say. I wonder if they're gonna fit through this. I don't know, like I think the employees will fit through this as long as they're not carrying a box. But their pathing becomes weird once they carry boxes. But most of them, like as long as there's open field in front here, they shouldn't almost ever come through here without a box, but we'll see. Like it's not a big deal. Okay, we should be able to open for the day. 12k just for the product license. Uh, so we want to be at least like, I don't know, closer to $20,000 before we buy it, I would say. Got our first client within 30 minutes. That's pretty good. We have a lot of open space on shelves now. Like even down there. Like I try to fix it a little bit so they don't use two boxes at the same time. But I think this alternative method will also work. Buying two of the same. It will just require more racking space um, inside storage. But it should be okay over t like overall. And if it, if it becomes a bigger problem, uh, we can eventually just move this one also, one tile forward, and put a duplicate rack uh, behind also. But yeah, we'll see what happens. Thank you for your purchase, Gal. <laughs> See, so yeah, I'm pretty much uh, acting like Walmart right now. I'm just running the shop, but I'm not working at the shop anymore. Like, everything is automated. All I'm doing every now and then is I'm upgrading stuff, and that's pretty much it. And I think uh, this whole place will be operationable uh, with only four workers, uh, two restockers, and two cashiers. I honestly do think so. Uh, at... at like once they're level 40, which I don't know if the high, it's the highest level, I don't think it is. Uh, they just become so efficient at their job. But it does make sense, right? It, it honestly does make sense at that level. But if it ever happens that, you know, the queues are becoming, like, too bad, like, really, really bad, um, I might just actually hit up one of our already purchased, you know, self-checkup machines that we've been using for 
since the beginning of the game, literally since part one of this. Um, that I haven't sold yet. But you can't sell. Well, you can sell. Yeah, you can sell. Because it's furniture, right? You can sell furniture, but not products with the sell button. There's still no boxes outside. That's why I'm like standing roughly here to see boxes also. By the way, this mod that is buying stuff, it also has an inbuilt feature. If someone complains they couldn't find a specific item, it will also auto-purchase. So if it ever happens, you know, the auto-purchase will happen, I think, if I'm not mistaken. But we can also remove stuff like, you know, quadrupling into chicken. I also saw that there's a mod where you could make 16 chicken be on top of each other in one square. Because, <laughs> I mean, 4 is such a joke, dude. But 16 is an overkill. I would say if it's 8, that would be great, dude. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we can actually just buy a license. We might want to upgrade the shop also. Oh, there are lights, baby. Oh, we're running at 53 FPS. At the moment. I'm wondering if we can actually lower the graphics in this game. Let's, let's try making it medium. Dude, I'm running at 30 FPS now. It's even worse. No, dude. No, dude. Let's try 90 field of view. Whoa. No. I think 60 was where we were. Yeah. Oh, dude, he's about to reach level 36. How exciting. He's already a crazy person. Look at how fast he goes. You know, something that you can also do in TCG uh, Card Simulator, because I, I actually saw that um, is it, absolutely crazy, but if they use a card, your cashier will almost instantly pay. Like, they, they would type in the number faster than you could, uh, even if you're using a numpad. So what you can do is you can install a mod that says card only. You can choose between cash or card only. 
Um, so you make it card only, and your cash here will be just be so much faster as well. And then you can actually make it that, you know, it's it's not rounded up or down numbers. It's just if they pay with card, the transaction will be fast enough. You can actually add cents as well. And just make everything market value. You don't have to round up or down. Dude, he is 30 products away. Who will reach the level first? The other cashier is also extremely close. They're both needing just a tiny tad. But the level 36 is closer. And boom, leveled up. So he is going at least like, I don't know, 1 or 2% faster. It's barely recognizable. But it is faster. I should have stood at the machine to say exactly how much faster it is. So we can actually see by over here, if we go to the training tab. So you can see the cash here on the right side, 2.95 payment time, scans per minute 100 to 107. 100 to 107, 2.95. Dude, is the clients done? Oh, dude. Bro, I'm so sorry. Poor guy, he's like, he's crying now. I'm not gonna get my wage now. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna end the day there. 85 happy clients, what I'm talking about. Balance is now 15000 We pay $550 per day on, on the staff, which is, you know, makes sense. Um, more product purchases. So now we could just open again. Everything should be restocked anyway. So we're just going to sit here on this PC and look at the screen. On the right side, it shows scans per minute. And payment time. I think my dogs want to just go out. Just give me a second. Let me just pause. Okay. So you can see the other one. 2.61 pay time. But 131 to 146 items per minute. Which is insane. So, like, the biggest thing we need to care about is the 100 to 107. Right? And I'm also sure you can see the middle is almost done. So his daily wage will go up. We'll pay him more per day. 100 to 107. Look at that. 104 to 111. The payment time didn't go down at all. We can see the next... Okay, so we couldn't increase his daily wage yet. It's still... He's still in the middle. So how about the restockers? We can't increase their daily wage as well. But the restockers, you can also see the difference here. The guy on the left, restocker 1. Um, he's walking 15.2 kilometers per hour. And he can carry up to 6 meters in height, 52.5 uh, kilograms. And his dexterity is 144%. And the daily wage is exactly the same, right? It's just he is halfway through advance, where the other one is about 25%, maybe 20% through advance. But it's a lot of XP to go to Pro, so... It's a little unfair that they get paid the same wage, it feels like, right? But it's just for now, obviously. There's a big experience difference between them. So 
So this guy almost upgraded about 5 to 10-ish. No, it's about 3 to 10. Right, the low end is not that high. Um, item scan per second. Or per, per minute, sorry. And this would just make it for if we get to that point where we do really need another cashier. I would rather just get another cashier, potentially, instead of a self-checkout. And it's because, like, how efficient they will become over time. Do we have any boxes outside? We don't. So it's only a specific size of box that would be, uh, you know, spawning outside. But we'll try our best to keep a... ...kind of a system going. Our highest guy just reached level 35. The restocker. I mean, I'm pretty sure there is a level cap, right? Because the final one is not unlocked yet. I don't know why this number 40 is still in my head the whole time when it comes to level cap. I feel like the queue is because of themselves, dude. Sometimes people stand there and they wait for someone to go in front of them, which is not even close yet. They're walking from the end of the shop all the way back here. It's good to have two different level dudes. And the reason being is to actually see the difference between a trained one and someone that's still in training. Maybe level 40 is where the pro starts, I'm not sure. Then we, then we get to the good stuff, dude. Yeah, I think we'll upgrade our shop first before we get the product license, just to be safe. Because it's really, like, the game is starting to become really expensive. And to be quite honest, I don't think I want to go back to no mods. Like, I, I think these, like, specifically this mod, the leveling up one, I feel like it could have been part of the game. Like, in all honesty, I think it's, it's, it's well fitting, number one. And I honestly want to see this kind of thing for more and more games. You know, I also recently played, but I, d I don't think I uploaded much yet, but I haven't uploaded even part one of it yet, and I made three videos about it. 
Uh, it's another game called uh, Crypto Mining Simulator. So there you can actually hire a very cheap guy. Very cheap, right? And you could put him in training and get him specific skills. And once the training is done, he will be far less cheaper than someone that you hire with those skills. So, and your character, your, your, the character you play as, quote unquote you, um, you, you can only train 12 skills. So if you need programming and you need to be able to do ASIC, uh, ASIC mining, uh, also, you know, multiple different stuff, you can't train all of that on your main character. So what you then do is once your main character is done in training, you hire someone else that is cheap and you would continue on training with them. But obviously that you need specific things, requirements to get somewhere, right? If you want to do ASIC mining, you have to understand programming. You have to understand overheat. You have to understand uh, overclocking. And to understand overclocking, you need a basic like computer knowledge, like how computers function and all, all of these things. So it gets to a point where either you pay someone like $400 a day or you could pay someone $50 a day, but put five, like I would say like a full year of training into them uh, to become that $500 a day worth um, for that s specific set of uh, skills. It feels like it's the same with this like mod. Right? These guys are so much slower than if you did play without the mod. But eventually they get to a point where they're just so much faster. So, it's pretty cool. And it's rewarding more to only have two cashiers. Products fun expensive was two. Well, I mean, I feel like that's a you problem. Okay, I'm just gonna put that out there. Maybe you should ask your boss for an increase. Become as good as my people, as, as my employees. You'll get better wages. There's a box outside. So eventually that size of boxes will always be outside. And once we have all of them, it's just going to be no more boxes anymore. Now I'm curious. Yeah. The wait, the black cauldron could be here. I mean, that's the old one. Okay, you see, so the new one is it, it is working. Like, it's no longer glitched anymore. The new way of doing things. I I thought buying two will fix the issue. It's it's just going to require more racking. Um. You know, I don't think we have to take the box from the outside, but I'm just scared my my dudes will get glitched. I'll tell you what, if there's another box outside, I'm, I'm not gonna take it in. And we'll test and see how it works. If it works, then we can remove all those duplicates. Because it becomes a problem if it's only, if, if it's two of the same boxes outside, but it will, in this case, it will only be one. So we faced a lot of challenges within this, uh, this modding as well. 
because using so many different mods, they actually clash with one another. But trying to find a workaround on it, very useful. There's another way to stock take actually with this mod, but you have to enable it uh, because there's another mod that people use. Um, but once you see stock like this, I could be middle mouse clicking and it will automatically add it to the cart. So there, there is another way to do it, like if you want to do it manually. I just have it as if, they, if the stock takers pick up the final box. Um, we would just automatically buy two of them. That's how it's set up right now. And that just works good enough, you know? So yeah, all in all, we're using uh, this this mod with the level train a tr uh, employee trainer uh, something like that. Uh, we're using automatic light switch on. We're using automatic uh, daily um, when products get more expensive or cheaper. Uh, daily price, automatic daily price. Uh, we're using um, automatic purchase. I, I can't remember what it's called. O automatic buy or something like that. Uh, but I edited it. Uh, it doesn't work like it's out of the box. Um, um, we also changed the automatic uh, uh, pricing. So that is four mods. I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah. Every time the cashier is also uh, sending someone out of the store, it counts as me doing it. So it counts as me um, operating the cashier. So that if I want to hire more, like hire more employees, obviously I can do it. Because it doesn't make sense that I have to be the person that, that, that lets them out. It doesn't make sense. Um, there's a... Oh, it's a trash can. I thought this is a box outside. I'm sure there's more mods, dude. Oh, yeah. Then we also use a mod for... Uh, we're paying a dollar per box to do that, but it will automatically travel into the storage uh, because uh, this leveling mod uh, is, is glitched uh, when there's two of the same boxes outside. Um... It just stands on the box and dance until I uh, until I pick up the box. So I couldn't find. What was it though? I think it automatically purchased it, right? Couldn't find a sushi large.
That is Sushi Lodge right there. Sushi Lodge, yeah. So I, I honestly think it's just... Uh, there's a lot of clients today. Couldn't find pasta. Dude, how low are we running on stuff? So, as you see, like it does get added after it became a problem. So he's still glitched when there's a box outside. We have to place it in. Otherwise, I would have kept the things laying outside, but at least I'm paying a dollar for them to not drop the box outside. It'll be inside. And also, I, I changed the value to true. Or in the morning, it would buy everything that's on this list. Because it's actually, on, for some reason, it's set to false. And it's weird that we're buying one, but yeah. So we're not going to have very happy clients today, but that's okay. So we'll end the day here. So four unhappy clients because products wasn't found. But that's okay. So we heard the purchase item. Oh, okay. So I just picked up that. I think it was this one. Oh no, stop it. So we'll buy pasta also. Everything that was a problem, we'll just uh, try uh, try and fix it on our side. And how about sushi, man? Hummus also. It was there. Now it's here. You see. Okay. So this works fine. So we should be able to open the store again. If another product is low, we'll... Every product that's a problem, we'll just fix manually. Until it's no longer... It shouldn't be any issue after a while. Sitting almost on 20k, but we have to... Uh, management growth. We have to expand first, so that's 11k. You know, that is just for safety reasons. And then we have to buy the license, which is 12k, so that alone is about 23k. And you don't want to do one or the other because one will make the clients unhappy. Especially if you don't have the capacity to put on more stuff. And two, you don't want to buy the size because you pay 
increase daily um, daily wages on rent. We do have quite a few shelf spaces though that we can use. Which is shelf explanatory. <laughs> That's why we're a small channel, dude. Them jokes. Them extremely bad jokes. Come on, my bitches, level up. I'm gonna pay you more. The guy's about to reach level 30. So let's uh, run to the thingy. Training. A restocker. He's about to reach level 30. Well, he has 60 more racks to do, but 44 kilograms, almost 45 kilograms. 13.3 um, kilometers per hour of walking speed. We can pay $80 and just get him to the next level, but I'd rather save $80, thank you. I mean, it's gonna happen over time, we just have to be patient. Come on, dude, go faster. You know, I'll just buy it, dude, 13.3, 44.8. Thirteen point six, forty six. So it's kind of a big upgrade, actually. You know. Oh, we can almost train train to level up. Uh, the cashier on the right is almost getting there. This is his final level. So level twenty five, you can we can pay him a a wage higher, like it's twenty dollars or something like that more per day. Um, then it's gonna be. Advanced. So then all our employees are in advanced. No one's out of advance yet. But also you don't have to, right? Uh, he will just remain as fast as he is, but he will keep getting experience. So whenever you do decide to pay him more, uh, he will then just uh, gain all that experience into levels. Right? Because that that's what happened with my restocker. I, I kept him at level... I think it was level 9. But it was like 1,700 experience out of 350. So when I clicked on level up, he went almost all the way through metal as well. Almost instantly. I kept him through... Uh, I kept him in, uh, as a rookie. So, right now, um, if you look at the cashier on the right, we're paying him $100 a day wage. The cashier on the left, we're paying 140 right? So, it's, it's going to be a $40 a day difference between the two. Um, so, that's why I'm saying, like, yes, it at these higher levels, the game feels unfair, but... I'm paying them more per day to ha to be this productive. And I feel like in real life it makes sense, right? It does make sense. So I consider this mod not cheating, if that makes sense, dude. I want it to make sense. Does it make sense? Uh, 
I keep saying makes sense because I want it to make sense. I want to justify the fact that I'm using mods to enjoy the game more. Because the most, in my opinion, the most tedious thing in this game to do is stock take yourself. And if that can be automated in any means, like we're doing right now, I feel like it's mandatory. And then I'm just thinking about, like, when it comes to face value cool mods to use, like, I don't think there's anything that beats this leveling mod. And that's why I'm, I'm just, I'm just wishing that there's more games that will have this mod, or that would have it inbuilt in their game itself. Because yeah, at end game it's gonna make a difference whether you have a faster employee or not. But in this game it makes more sense that if all you do your whole life is check out people, that you would get faster and faster um, every single year in real time. Now, obviously, we haven't played through a year yet, but you do get my point. So the queue will go, obviously, sl uh, like, less and less people will be in queue. So sitting on 22k. So we have enough now to upgrade and pro buy the product license. But then we have no money for buying the stock. And, and buying stuff like fridges and shelves and stuff. So I would say at least at the very minimum I would say 30, uh, 25k is enough. But we might just push it for one day even after that. It's about 27k. Couldn't find a six pack milk. So let's see, is it added here? Uh, yeah, six pack milk, it's there. The steward is glitched. He actually might have the six pack milk. So the only way to fix this guy then. Yeah, like I said, this is not flawless. Like this mod is not flawless at all. Is to this is a restocker number two. Is to click on use labeled and then just switch it on again. What we, what he would do then is he would drop all the items he has in his hand. And he would redo everything. Kind of an annoying glitch, though. Oh. I actually wanted to pick this up. My bad. Okay, so this day is done. So two products not found. I'm pretty sure that's all six black milk. But it will get purchased now. The six pack milk is right here. There we go. So that is concerning to me. The fact that salt wasn't added. So I'll just do it manually. So 
So that should be six black milk, yeah. So let's put down another rack. So this glitch don't happen no more. They can't walk through there. <laughs> it's okay. There we go. Picking up items from the floor sometimes is just a weird glitch. Are we out of six pack milk again, dude? Or is it gonna bring it back? Let's have a look. He didn't bring it back. It should be good on chicken. Yeah, no. We have no chicken. Six pack eggs and sugar. That sushi small. The bleach that we have. Mushed potatoes. Black spray, the cleaner. Dishwash tablet. Oh man. 35, the higher level one. This is hot sauce. Goodness. That was a 360 nose scope, dude. Yeah, let's open the shop. Hey, girl. She got such nice eyes, dude. I'll lick it. <laughs> My bad.
Make me rich, bitches. I just went to go pee quick. A lot of standing around it. So... Is my worker still working? Or are they glitching? So I think uh, we need to like destroy one of these racks somehow. I don't know how we're gonna get it right. And we can always rebuy the whole rack. You know, like removing one peanut butter here took a while. Why would you want to do that? It's purely just because... It's because it's... I don't even know how many boxes to refill this whole thing. And if it's three boxes, uh, the glitch will just continue on. Because the, uh, the, the problem already occurred. Where... Um, where sugar was... Uh, not sugar, salt. Salt wasn't purchased. Speaking of sugar. So there's Chuna. Where's my red flower though? I can't find the second one. Oh, there it is. Let's remove it then. Sounds like Christmas in here now also, dude. Oh, we're running pretty low on chicken. Okay, there we go. She loves her pizza. Well, three of those and one of these. I'm gonna I'm gonna make my own pizza for tonight though. But it's like tiny pizzas. I had six of them last night. I'm gonna eat again six today. Oh 
After this video, I'll go make my food. I can't imagine how much faster they're gonna walk. The restockers. Yo, this guy's wage almost increases, dude. At 2,000 experience, we can increase his wage. I feel like we also want to remove the timer so we can actually buy pulse 9 p.m. Okay, this is awkward. Uh, we should remove one of the cold ring shelves. Oh, we can remove two, dude. Like, I'm honestly trying to make the game less glitchy with these mods. Is there any additional shelves we can get rid of? There we go, another one. Come on, man. One tuna? Are you kidding me? Wish I could just grab it and put it there and remove the label, but I can't. Unless I could get the box. Okay, all clients out of here. 24k, do you think it's enough? I don't think so yet. I would say 20... I don't even know, 20... Well, I mean, off the daily wage, it's not even close. Not just daily wage, you also purchase the items, right?
No. Oh, dude. We'll just wait for another purchase on salt. I have to keep the box in my hand. You can do it. Thank you. remove potatoes here so that this is a box and a half if that makes sense where if we had two here it's it's two boxes and hint hint glitch happens so we still need to maybe get rid of one of the chickens uh, as well Running fairly low on this coffee. Which I believe is one of the new coffees. There it is. He's gonna rack it now. Yeah, if we can, we need to get rid of salt another shelf. Don't you like it when I stand your food, dude? I'm sorry. fast, dude. Yeah, we need a lot more purchases for salt. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six of them. And they will do the same for peanut butter, so it will be two shelves, two shelves. Come on people, buy some salt, goodness. black eyes next to each other. There's no one gonna buy salt right now. What the heck? What the heck? Come on, girls. Get some salt in your life. Couldn't find potato bag. Do we have it now?
Because Mr. Glitchy over here has the potato bag in his hands. It's the lower level, right? It's only one potato. He leveled up again. This guy, we can pay him a wage now. A wage increase. We'll do that after the day is over. Otherwise, I'm going to pay him in the morning for free. But yeah, this uh, 300 experience will already count for the next level, so it's not a big deal. Dude, literally nobody bought salt. Is potatoes racked again? Yeah. Honestly wondering why the glitch happens every now and then. Hey, there's more twins, dude. Yay! Buy six of them. No. We have a better chance getting peanut butter lower now. But if I put down this, they're going to restock it and potentially throw away the box. And these restockers is not clear to play around, dude. Yeah, there goes the peanut butter. Thank you, little lady. Thank you, sire. You know, I don't know if we actually have coffee. I don't think we do. But I do know. We can quickly have a look. Uh... Don't pick up my salt. What am I doing? Coffee should be there. We'll see now. We'll end the day. Product's not found. Yeah. Yeah, coffee was added. One product at a time, dude, <laughs> that we need to fix. So level 27, so after today we can actually... Let's get down, let's get down to business, if you understand what I'm saying. If someone buys that, we'll also take off that label.
So we need four more purchases of salt. Hot sauce and chicken. Well, this guy is gonna have a fun time taking a dump. You know, we could, uh... Reshelf it as well. It might actually be... The better way to do it. Buying girl, what are you doing? Stopping, eh? Yay, job's done. So, there we go. Now we're gonna work on a peanut butter. You know, I think the same thing we'll do, we'll get them shelved together. You try to pick up the box. Did someone complain about an item? So much text. Oh, yeah. Uh, we need to upgrade this guy. Level 36. I don't know if he's the higher or lower. Where's our guy? He's the higher level. Okay, so cashiers unlock higher wage, $500, approve. So now we're paying him 140 from 100 to 140. So the next one we can work on is the, uh, uh, this one. You know what, let's just work on the rice.
So we need one more purchase. And then that should also be solved. No more glitches on rice. Again, I think it might just be better to... That's so fast. What the heck? Perfect. Do you have spaghetti added? Nope, two ale kegs. So what about spaghetti? Where is... There it is. Spaghetti is full actually, but... Could be the next one we want to work on. Or olive oil. It's gonna be harder because there's two boxes. Red flower might actually be closer now. Come on, dude. We need one. One purchase, dude. We are very low on chicken. Do we have chicken? I mean, I assume we do not. That's why it's so low. That's potatoes. Maybe this guy is carrying the chicken. Who's that? It's again our higher level guy. Come on, put, put down the box, bro. There we go. I got the chicken. Yay. Nay. Hmm. Now we need to get somehow. I want only one, I think. Two should be okay, right? Yeah, two should be okay.
Okay, let's uh, end the day. So daily wage will it will be now. Five ninety. Man, you guys are expensive. Goodness. Okay. Um let's buy the new product license. That's a lot of money. But we're ending on Speaking of, can we and we keep the box here to try and get another rack down? Quake, cake, cake, white cake. Oh my goodness. Goodness, that was perfect. Perfect. Now, if we just, uh, them above each other that would be better no boxes outside okay so we ended by the slash right so now we got new Items in stock. So green bean is on a freezer. So green bean. Right, that's over there, I think. Yeah. Then we have ice cream vanilla. That should be under the cold drink. Yeah, it is. Then we have ice cream. So we need one, two. We need two freezers, right? Uh, well, one, one in a bit, but yeah, we need two freezers. Furniture. Uh, freezer, black. Hmm. Is it this? No, it's 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 not. Not that either. There we go. This is a So it's under the pulp. Oh, it's actually sugar light brown. Goodness, dude. So this is pizza. 
Thank you. So our new pizza. someone buy red flower? No. It's really unfortunate. Okay, then it's uh, potato chips and veggie. Great. And I can't see his level. There we go, level one. Or 31. Okay, let us do it. So potato pops and veggie mix, but I think we need to place this first. Potato pops and a veggie mix. So green then white. That should be it. So we could just start the day. So we need four Paul buyers or one. One of those <laughs> red flowers. Pops, dude. I haven't had pops in so long. I mean, this should be rather proactive. Because no one's gonna stack red because it's full, right? Three more, baby. And then we should be able to take a full shelf. All for my share. That's a dumb joke. My bad. Hmm. Two 
two more, baby. Buy the red flower, my buddy. Not the blue one. Like, what are you doing? Uh, the dog wants to go pee quick. The blind one. I have to go out with the dog. Just give me a second. Be right back. I can't pause, bro. Wait a minute, lady. Uh, so yeah, bro, back. Okay, we need one more pulp buying. One more pulp, dude. I got a feeling. One more pulp, one more red. You can do this. We need to get that, get that pink also. Thank you. No one's glitching here. We need to get this pink powder. There's nothing, so I'll I'll buy one later. No. Quickly. Dude, why is no one buying the the flower, bro? We can do olive oil also, I think. Yes, we can. No, we can't. But we will. <laughs> hey. No, no, we'll keep it at the bottom. So we want to do this with spaghetti also. That's where the spaghetti box was. That's unfortunate. So we're gonna move it from here. To over there, that's also makes sense. Holy 
crap. Just give me a second, dude. Man, I swear, sometimes his dogs is just absolutely insane. Uh, we have no chicken. Is Mr. Chicken glitched or something? No, no, here he is. Yeah, so I think two boxes is perfect. For chicken, then. As long as no one is glitched, it, it would be working fine. Uh, the black cool drink. It's the new one, this one. Okay, perfect. I think that's good enough. We should have orange also. Does one of them have the orange box, or is it just not? We have the pink one. trying to think how we're gonna do this like two two each so like two at the bottom two above and then two like that two two like that might be ideal to do it that way i was about to end the day Yeah, we're just gonna fix the racks here so that the glitches don't happen. Product's not found. I honestly don't know what happened there or why. So we'll just instantly open. Might be a glitch. The guy had the chicken but never went there. I don't know. This glitch is fairly weird though. And I think the fastest way to fix the products is to just sell the shelf or destroy it and place new ones. Do we have oil? We don't. Okay, so we're going to keep it like that then. Because this one has one. And then if we... Yeah, we can maybe combine those two. So one box would almost solve the oil. Almost. So we also don't have pink powder, I know that. There's so much to fix. 
to to make it unbreakable again. Too expensive water? Uh, we can actually get rid of two shells here. That's, uh, oh, okay, it's not there. But red was also decently low. So we're going to have three shells, I would say. Well, even if I just remove one for now, I feel like it's a good start. We got Mr. Glitchy here again. You know, I honestly, it might be because the shells is too close to one another. But yet again, it might not be. I think if I buy oil right now, I'll be able to solve it. Uh, they will only have two racks. Dude, he almost grabbed it right in front of me. Okay, I think our oil situation is solved. Okay, now... Bro! Yeah, management, hiring, it's the lower level one. So now we need pink. So market, it's almost at the bottom. There it is, pink sugar.
The checkout is full. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry. I think we can remove one. So yeah, if we buy the... If we buy the orange cold drink, we can actually make it a two rack also, I think. Because the orange cold drink glitched. I mean, at the end of the day, that's what we're trying to achieve, right? Is a glitchless self-purchase machine. And the way we're playing the game... Is this old now? Did they add that in? Why does my bread look so black, dude? How that's how it looks like, it Couldn't find pres Presito. Hopefully that will be purchased. Working on one thing at a time, bro. Okay, let's enter here. Product is too expensive. It's whatever. Um, we need to buy the orange juice now. So, buy soda, pulp, orange. They're both busy. Orange, this one. Perfect. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, we're still busy with this one, though. And yeah, Pinky is going to take a while, dude. We can just reshuffle Pinky. So red will get removed there. I don't know, we can we can replace it with another different soda or something at some point. Maybe, ooh, mayonnaise is also looking nice. What the heck, doggy? Did you guys hear it? <laughs> are very low on toilet paper. That's the green one. Green one. Where's more? There's green. We need to be careful, dude. We can't be removing from too many shells. Thank you. 
So that's one box. And here's the other. So it's exactly two boxes. So now I think... Uh, toy... Lead paper. Now I think they won't be glitched anymore. But we'll see. Because they are at, at this point. And I think Milk also. He just picked up all the milk. What's this? Toilet pepper. But yeah, we will address the issues as they arise. I'm honestly hoping that we can get this solved as soon as we can. But it's a... Uh, it's a pretty hard concept. It's like, um, we're just like learning as we go, to be honest. But yeah, guys, we're going to actually end this episode over here. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.